Monosodium glutamate, Wikipedia article audio. Monosodium glutamate is the sodium salt of glutamic acid, one of the most abundant naturally occurring non-essential amino acids. Monosodium glutamate is found naturally in tomatoes, cheese, and other foods. Use Safety Chinese Restaurant Syndrome Production Chemical Properties History Society and Culture Regulations United States Australia and New Zealand Pakistan Names Chemical names and identifiers On packaging Trade names Messages used in the food industry as a flavor enhancer with an umami taste that intensifies the meaty, savory flavor of food, as naturally occurring glutamate does in foods such as stews and meat soups. It was first prepared in 1908 by Japanese biochemist Kikuni Ikeda, who was trying to isolate and duplicate the savory taste of kombu, an edible seaweed used as a base for many Japanese soups. Message as a flavor enhancer balances, blends, and rounds the perception of other tastes. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration has given message it's generally recognized as safe designation. A popular belief is that large doses of message can cause headaches and other feelings of discomfort, known as Chinese restaurant syndrome, but double-blind tests fail to find evidence of such a reaction. The European Union classifies it as a food additive permitted in certain foods and subject to quantitative limits. Message has the HS code 292242220 and the E number E621. Pure message is reported to not have a pleasant taste until it is combined with a savory aroma. The basic sensory function of message is attributed to its ability to enhance savory taste active compounds when added in the proper concentration. The optimum concentration varies by food, in clear soup, the pleasure score rapidly falls with the addition of more than 1 gram of message per 100 ml. The sodium content of message, 12%, is about one third of that in sodium chloride due to the greater mass of the glutamate count Arian. Although other salts of glutamate have been used in low-salt soups, they are less palatable than message. A popular belief is that message can cause headaches and other feelings of discomfort but double-blind tests have found no good evidence to support this. Message has been used for more than 100 years to season food with the number of studies conducted on its safety. Consumption and manufacture of high salt and high glutamate foods, which contain both sodium and glutamate, stretch back far longer, with evidence of cheese manufacture as early as 5500 BC. International and national bodies governing food additives currently consider message safe for human consumption as a flavor enhancer. Under normal conditions, humans can metabolize relatively large quantities of glutamate, which is naturally produced in the gut in the course of protein hydrolysis. The median lethal dose is between 15 and 18 g kg body weight in rats and mice, respectively, five times greater than the LD50 of salt. The use of message as a food additive and the natural level of glutamic acid in foods are not toxicological concerns in humans. A 1995 report from the Federation of American Societies for Experimental Biology for the United States Food and Drug Administration concluded that message is safe when eaten at customary levels and Although a subgroup of otherwise healthy individuals develop a message symptom complex when exposed to 3 grams of message in the absence of food, 
message as a cause has not been established because the symptom reports are anecdotal. According to the report, no data support the role of glutamate in chronic disease. A controlled, double-blind, multiple location clinical trial failed to demonstrate a relationship between the message symptom complex and actual message consumption. No statistical association has been demonstrated, and the few responses were inconsistent. No symptoms were observed when message was administered with food. Adequately controlling for experimental bias includes a double-blind, placebo-controlled experimental design and administration by capsule, because of the unique aftertaste of glutamates. In a study by Tarasoff and Kelly, 71 fasting participants were given 5 grams of message and then a standard breakfast. One reaction occurred. A study by Geha ETAL tested the reaction of 130 subjects with a reported sensitivity to message. Multiple DBPC trials were performed, with subjects exhibiting at least two symptoms continuing. Two people out of the 130 responded to all four challenges. Because of the low prevalence, the researchers concluded that a response to message was not reproducible. Studies exploring MSG's role in obesity have yielded mixed results. Although several studies have investigated anecdotal links between message and asthma, current evidence does not support a causal association. Since glutamates are important neurotransmitters in the human brain, playing a key role in learning and memory, ongoing neurological studies indicate a need for further research. A hypothetical message symptom complex, named Chinese Restaurant Syndrome, attracted attention in the period after 1968, when Robert Ho Man Kwok reported symptoms he felt after an American Chinese meal. Kwok suggested possible reasons for his symptoms, including alcohol, sodium, and message. However, a number of symptoms have become associated with message. Food Standards Australia New Zealand Message Technical Report concludes, there is no convincing evidence that message is a significant factor in causing systemic reactions resulting in severe illness or mortality. The studies conducted to date on Chinese restaurant syndrome have largely failed to demonstrate a causal association with message. Symptoms resembling those of CRS may be provoked in a clinical setting in small numbers of individuals by the administration of large doses of message without food. However, such effects are neither persistent nor serious and are likely to be attenuated when message is consumed with food. In terms of more serious adverse effects such as the triggering of bronchospasm in asthmatic individuals, the evidence does not indicate that message is a significant trigger factor. However, the FSANS message report says that although no data are available on average message consumption in Australia and New Zealand, Data from the United Kingdom indicates an average intake of 590 mg slash day, with extreme users consuming 2,330 mg slash day. In a highly seasoned restaurant meal, intakes as high as 5,000 mg or more may be possible. When very large doses of message are ingested, plasma glutamate concentration will significantly increase. However, the concentration typically returns to normal within two hours. In general, foods providing metabolizable carbohydrates significantly attenuate peak plasma glutamate levels at doses up to 150 mg kg body weight. Two earlier studies the 1987 Joint FAO-WHO Expert Committee on Food Additives and the 1995 Federation of American Societies for Experimental Biology concluded, 
there may be a small number of unstable asthmatics who respond to doses of 1.5-2.5 grams of message in the absence of food. The face of evaluation concluded, sufficient evidence exists to indicate some individuals may experience manifestations of CRS when exposed to a greater than or equal to 3G bolus dose of message in the absence of food. Message has been produced by three methods, hydrolysis of vegetable proteins with hydrochloric acid to disrupt peptide bonds, direct chemical synthesis with acrylonitrile, and bacterial fermentation. Wheat gluten was originally used for hydrolysis because it contains more than 30 grams of glutamate and glutamine in 100 grams of protein. As demand for message increased, chemical synthesis and fermentation were studied. The polyacrylic fiber industry began in Japan during the mid-1950s, and acrylonitrile was adopted as a base material to synthesize message. Currently, most global message is produced by bacterial fermentation in a process similar to making vinegar or yogurt. Sodium is added later, for neutralization. During fermentation, Corynebacterium species, cultured with ammonia and carbohydrates from sugar beets, sugar cane, tapioca, or molasses, excrete amino acids into a culture broth from which L-glutamate is isolated. The Kyohako Kochyo company developed industrial fermentation to produce L-glutamate. The conversion yield and production rate continues to improve in the industrial production of message, keeping up with demand. The product, after filtration, concentration, acidification, and crystallization, is glutamate, sodium, and water. The compound is usually available as the monohydrate, a white, odorless, crystalline powder. The solid contains separate sodium cations Na+, and glutamate anions in tsvitarionic form, OOCCH2 Ku. In solution it dissociates into glutamate and sodium ions. Message is freely soluble in water, but it is not hygroscopic and is insoluble in common organic solvents. It is generally stable under food processing conditions. Message does not break down during cooking and, like other amino acids, will exhibit a Maillard reaction in the presence of sugars at very high temperatures. Glutamic acid was discovered and identified in 1866 by the German chemist Karl Heinrich Riedhausen, who treated wheat gluten with sulfuric acid. Kikuni Ikeda of Tokyo Imperial University isolated glutamic acid as a taste substance in 1908 from the seaweed Laminaria japonica by aqueous extraction and crystallization, calling its taste umami. Ikeda noticed that dashi, the Japanese broth of katsuobushi and kombu, had a unique taste not yet scientifically described. To verify that ionized glutamate was responsible for umami, he studied the taste properties of glutamate salts, calcium, potassium, ammonium, and magnesium glutamate. All these salts elicited umami and a metallic taste due to the other minerals. Of them, sodium glutamate was the most soluble, most palatable, and easiest to crystallize. Ikeda called his product monosodium glutamate, and submitted a patent to produce message. The Suzuki brothers began commercial production of message in 1909 as Ajinomoto. It has been suggested that a fear of message may reflect anti Asian racism, with message being seen as an oriental, alien arrival in Western cooking, likely to be dangerous. Food critic Jeffrey Steingarten argued that fear of message should be seen as a Western-centric mindset, lacking awareness of its common use in Far Eastern cooking without apparent problems. If message is a problem, why doesn't everyone in China have a headache? 
Message is one of several forms of glutamic acid found in foods, in large part because glutamic acid is pervasive in nature. Glutamic acid and its salts may be present in a variety of other additives, including hydrolyzed vegetable protein, autolyzed yeast, hydrolyzed yeast, yeast extract, soy extracts, and protein isolate, which must be specifically labeled. Since 1998, message cannot be included in the term spices and flavorings. The ribonucleotide food additives disodium inosinate and disodium guanylate are usually used with monosodium glutamate containing ingredients. However, the term natural flavor is used by the food industry for glutamic acid. The Food and Drug Administration does not require disclosure of components and amounts of natural flavor. The FDA considers labels such as no message or no added message misleading if the food has ingredients which are sources of free glutamate, such as hydrolyzed protein. In 1993, it proposed adding contains glutamate to the common names of certain hydrolyzed proteins with substantial amounts of glutamate. Standard 1.2.4 of the Australia and New Zealand Food Standards Code requires message to be labeled in packaged foods. The label must have the food additive class name, followed by the name of the additive or its international numbering system number. 621. Punjab Food Authority banned message from being used in food products in January 2018 on it being detrimental to general, and particularly cardiovascular, health. The following are alternative names for message.